times more. Uh, my family's been in this Walgett area for 125 years now. Uh, we've, uh, we've got a mixed farming operation. Uh, we've been growing cotton since 1979. The impacts on farm, we, could, we can straight up say uh, from the uh, from the first water sharing plan where we had a reduction in, in the amount of water we, we could access. Uh, we estimate the, that our production is actually over long term average is down 20%. So taking more water will just further increase the, um, it'll further increase the, the impact that it'll have on, on our farm. Um, it just, we really can't afford to do that. I don't think anyone can afford to do that. There's been a lot of investment over the years in these schemes. Uh, we've made big investments in, in efficiencies. Um, and there comes a time when you just got to say enough's enough. Uh, the impact on the next generation is, there's no doubt it, it will be significant. There, uh, it, it's, it is difficult to attract, uh, you know, the youth of Australia back into agriculture and uh, if we don't have viable viable farms, viable um, enterprises or support enterprises then that's going to get worse and worse. I don't think the political leaders of or the MDA uh, really fully understand the impacts of, of the decisions they're actually making. Uh, it's very easy to look at something from afar and think you're doing the right thing. Um, but it's not until you see the true impacts on the ground and what it will do to communities and individuals long term that you can truly appreciate how much influence they actually are going to have. So river health is as important to us as it is as it is to anyone else. You know whether it's the Aboriginal community or the local community, it's it's probably just as important to us as as anyone else. We need a healthy river just as much as anyone else does. Well, Barnaby, I think you know these areas very well. Uh, you're growing up in them. Um, I think you have a very, very good idea of what the impacts are going to be. Uh, I think that uh, you are a person that uh, stands for their beliefs and uh, I think this is, this is one that you really need to make sure you don't budge on.